All right guys, I'm taking you on my journey, I wanna say across Texas, but kind of sort of. From Dallas to Houston, now I'm going to Houston, San Antonio. Um, my next stop is in Shiner, Texas. Behind me is the Spo Spoetzel Brewery. This is where, I think I said that wrong. This is where uh, Shiner is brewed. Shiner is, uh, well at least here, it's a super popular beer. I don't know how it is the rest of the country, but we're gonna try to, gonna try to get in and maybe there's a gift shop or something. Okay, so we are in the Shiner gift shop. You can actually sample beer. We're gonna sample some beer here. Me and this idiot is still with me. So what do we got? <laughs> we got uh, Shiner Strawberry Blonde. Stra Shiner Strawberry Blonde that tastes like oranges, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> not bad. That's not bad at all. I like that. Okay, that's not bad. We're gonna try another one too. Hang on. <laughs> So we're gonna try the uh, what's it called? The light, the shiner light. Shiner light blonde. Shiner light blonde. You know what's funny? I didn't even know there was anything but shiner Bach, I gotta be honest. There was a couple that I knew. Of, so I had the birthday one though. It's got a hint of like original, like the Shiner Bach. Yeah, it does. Um, but it's not overpowering, and that's honestly why I don't like dark beers because it's super, super strong aftertaste. That's not bad. I like Bach. It's good. I can drink that. I can right. drink this too. All right, next one. So now we're gonna try the uh, Shiner Sea Salt and Lime. I'm not feel about this. Meh, meh. It kind of tastes like a shitty Corona, but better. But almost, yeah, it tastes like like a Corona with lime actually, but a little bit better actually. Yeah, it's pretty good. I like Corona though. I like Corona, so that's good. I like that. It needs more salt. Okay, so what was recommended also was to mix the strawberry and the sea salt lime. So she gave us a little bit. So um, I guess we're gonna have to we're gonna have to share the piss cup. Where are you going? <laughs> we're, we're gonna have to share the piss cup. So I'll go first. You just drink off that end. And strawberry. The strawberry and sea salt. It's not bad. It kind of kind of takes that, that like a regular hard ass beer that it tastes like to me. It's pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All right, that was fun. Got some free beer samples. It actually, makes some pretty good stuff. They had uh, way more flavors than I ever thought, and that's not even all of them. That's just what they have here for sampling in the gift shop. Gift shop's actually extremely reasonable. It's a little bit off the beaten path, but if you're just like like looking for small country town shit to do, Americana. Come check this out. I don't have time for a tour of the actual brewery, unfortunately. So if I, but if I did, I'd probably do like Strange Brew, jump in one of the things, <laughs> <laughs> and fuck everything up, make them have to drain it, and clean it, and sanitize it again. But all right, let's get out of here. Alright guys, so next stop here, I'm in Kingsland, Texas at Hoods Games and Things. These guys are uh, sponsors since like year three. The great, great store, great, great couple who owns this this uh, store. I was almost at Franchise because they actually have two stores. One in Marble Falls, that's the original location. This is the one in Kingsland, this is their newest location. Um, this is where the owner is, so this is why I came out to this one. If I have time, I'm not even going to say that. Let's go inside and check out the store.
Funding for the Game Chasers and the Shady J Show is made possible from our patrons on Patreon. Thank you.